Now, uh, speaking of Victorian premiers and piling on Victorian premiers, um, uh, the media love themselves a bit of Jeff Kennett, and Jeff Kennett loves a little bit of, of, of media attention as well, Jake. So he does. T- tell us a little bit about who Jeff Kennett was before we launch into this one. Well, uh, Jeff Kennett um, was uh, the former um, premier of uh, of Victoria for a number of years. Um, 1992 I, I, to 1999. Nice work. Thanks. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it was during uh, the same time um, that uh, um, uh, that John Howard uh, held the federal parliament. Um, they, they, you know, they, there was, a, a, you know, a tremendous amount of, uh, love flowing to Victoria, tremendous right. amount of growth occurred right. uh, in Victoria during that time. Is he uh, a liberal or a laboran? He, from memory, is a lib. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. He was in office. I'll have a look. I'll check that out, Jake. Yes, he was a you, lib. You would think you would. Th- was he a lib? I thought he was a lib. Yes, Liberal Party. Yes, and um, from memory, he also held uh, for for a, a particular part of time. He he set it up so that the treasurer mm. was from the opposition. So he he you know oh, while yeah. he had um, a majority government, mm. he was all about getting the right people into the right jobs. What and uh, was able to uh, you know sort it out. So essentially, he had um, you know. Um, people from the opposition uh, running in a coalition um, to support good governance. Well, Jake, if there's anything that gets me going, it's when people in the opposition have people in, 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 in well... I are in you, power. Anyway, yeah, that's right. no, <laughs> when people in the opposition are in power. Yeah, That's right. That's right. I love it. I love it. Now, uh, okay, so so Jeff Kennett, what, what's he been up to? What's he doing at the moment? He's, he's He loves a bit of media attention. He's he out does, there. yeah. He's uh, he's the um, he is the CEO, I think, for one of the uh, football codes, yes. uh, or for one of the clubs. Okay. Um, he's a he's a yeah. Look, he's he's a larger than life individual. He's constantly brought in for uh, commentary on various things, and he came out this week to say that Daniel Andrews, the current state leader. "Quote cannot survive the the coronavirus crisis, mm. and will step down within months." Quote. I think Daniel is preparing to exit, he said uh, during an interview. Uh, quote, I think he'll try to get the coronavirus under control, hopefully by Christmas, and then I think he'll stand down and move on. Why? How about that? Well, he's, um, you know, seem, essentially... Doesn't seem like Daniel at all. Doesn't <laughs> seem like the Daniel I've come to know and love anyway. No, exactly. Well, interestingly enough, uh, when Daniel was being elected, he, he was adamantly wanting to be known as Dan. I want to be known as Cool Dan. Dan. Call cool me Dan. Cool Dan. Nah, Daniel. Um, but he's, no, he's all he's, da- he's all about the Daniel now. He's, he's all he's, about. He's evolved into Daniel, hasn't he? Well, I, I mean, I wonder whether he's like me. Like, if I'm in trouble, I no, know that Jake. I'm here. Jacob Giovanni, David Far Wharton, <laughs> um, in that string. And uh, so I just wonder whether you know him. Um, you know, wanting to be referred to as Daniel Andrews mm. uh, suggests that he acknowledges that he's in trouble. Um, that I, he's, I think you know, so. he wants Look, to hear I, his full name. I, again, I, I, you know, one of the, one of the things I love about about sort of evolving, uh, you know, especially with this podcast and stuff, is that is that you can start to see how dedicated the politicians are to yes. their cause, and you start to think about, gosh, they get up every single morning, they go through the motions, they say, right, what's happening today? What decisions do I need to make? Let's go and do that. Let's face the let's face the media. Let's face the um, you know, let's face the music. They've got families. They've got um, the hopes and dreams of their own. They do all this stuff, but they keep working. They keep working really hard. So I think it's a bit of a shame if the conversation turns to you know that the fact that he can't handle it and that he's going to exit. Because he's just been so um, you know, I, committed committed to Victorians, I think. You know, no, I, uh, yeah. Look, I completely agree. I'm not sure that it's about um, him not being able to take it. I think it's more about him um, taking responsibility, particularly for what occurred during the. Uh, so th- this week, for example, he came out to say, uh, you know, he was he was questioned on the whole. You know, are you concerned for um, the investigation going on around the hotel quarantine program? Um, and you know, his response was, "I am." "Quote accountable for any mistakes that occurred." Yeah, that's right. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's that he can't hack it. I think it's more that he is he, he feels responsible for the fact that um, you know instead of uh, you know for example um, public 
um, public people and uh, health officials being used to uh, manage the hotel quarantine process. Mm. That um, you know, private security guards who were you know uh, potentially underpaid and selected a day before and given virtually zero training, etc., mm. uh, led to that scenario where um, c- the coronavirus was not only allowed to spread but allowed to proliferate throughout the community, um, thanks to you know those various vectors of um, of uh, security guards. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know probably other means as well. So you know I think I think he f- he f- he feels that he he is uh, you know obviously I'm I'm reading into stuff that he hasn't said, but mm. I, th- I I would assume that he feels quite responsible um, for that program, uh, particularly because there were public health officials who said, guys, you really should not be using um, you know private contractors in this, particularly private security contractors in yeah. this type of circumstance. Um, and that was you know prior to the hotel quarantine program being. Uh, enacted and during the the initial uh, little while of that. So, you know, it was penny pinching um, that got him into trouble and, you know, I, I feel that this is um, this is a contrite response of, you know, I'm responsible. So I think, you know, it is possible that Jeff Kennett is, um, you know, reading something into this that is mm. m- maybe along the lines of being correct. But I also think, you know, that's he, he's the strongest person in that party. He's a former health minister. He is the right person, uh, at least at the moment, mm. and we'll just have to see what happens. But certainly coronavirus is going to be with us, you know, beyond Christmas. So, um, so should Dan Andrews, I would suggest.